Don't you love that? You adults, you're taking up the kids' room. Get out of the way. <laughs> Jody, put it up here, buddy. One more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you a true story today. This happened to me. This is a, a while back ago. Uh, back when I was going to college. Uh, I was going to college in Orlando. I used to work at a gas station right on the corner of 436 and Old Cheney Highway. And uh, it was called Bob's Mobile. Um, i trying to think how old it was. It might have been 19. I, yeah, yes, sir. I always believed in God, but at that time in my life I wasn't following Him. But I want to give you a story about God's faithfulness. So it was right around Christmas time. And again, this was in Orlando. There was a rash of robberies at stores and gas stations, right in the area that we were working in. And every time one of these places got robbed, it was getting closer and closer to the store that it worked in. So this is probably about 11.45, 12 o'clock at night time. And this guy comes in the store. <laughs> and I'm looking at him. I'm behind the counter, behind the register. have uh, one other lady working. She was in the back. So he walks in, she comes out. So we're both standing there. He stands there, he's looking at us. And I'm looking at him, and I knew this was that guy. That guy, he had a newspaper over his hand. Okay? Now he didn't look like the kind of guy who reads newspapers. <laughs> so I'm looking at him, and I'm realizing, well, this is that guy. And so we were making eye contact. He's looking at me, I'm looking at him. We ain't saying nothing to each other. I looked at her to see where she was at, and she was behind the counter with me. And we stood there and just stared at each other. And like I said, I wasn't following God at that time, but I knew God was real, and I knew Jesus Christ, and I was praying that whole time. And we're standing here, we're just looking at each other. And I finally asked him, can I help you? And he didn't say nothing. He has his hand up like this, he has his paper cover in his hand, and he's looking at me, and I'm looking at him. And I'm thinking, this is not going to be good. So we stare at each other, stare at each other. He looks at her, she's staring at him, and I, again, I asked, can I help you? And the whole time, I'm praying silently, Jesus, please protect us. God looks at us, and he reaches in his pocket. I'm thinking, what do you mean? Two guns? <laughs> he reaches in his pocket, he pulls out a $20 bill, puts it on the counter, and walks out. No way. Yes, but <laughs> that is a true story. That's how faithful our God is. Now, he didn't buy anything. He gave us a $20 Christmas ticket. Because he was going to rob us. And Jesus changed his mind. Okay? So do you believe in God? Do you believe that Jesus is real? And listen, like I said, I was not walking in faithfulness to him. But God is always faithful. You know why God was faithful to me at that time? Because my mother used to pray for me every day. Okay? And the prayers that she sent up to God. And when I prayed to, to Jesus, to please don't let me get shot. Don't let her get shot. He heard those prayers and he answered them. So always remember that God hears you, listens to you, and will take care of you. Okay, Did you have a story? No, we kept a lot of things away from my mother. <laughs> a lot of things. So listen, like I said, always remember that God hears you, God knows you, and God loves you. And will take care of you. Okay? We'll go back to your seats. Okay.